available exclusively for News Pulse Finance parent company Verizon, VZ, this spring, and then heading to AT&T, T, Sprint, S, Spectrum Wireless, T-Mobile, TMUS, and Sfinity Mobile, CMCSA, in the summer, the S105 G will essentially be a high-powered version of the Galaxy S10 Plus. It will also help set early expectations, for better or worse, for consumer-grade 5G connectivity. Samsung's Galaxy S10 Plus is the current top-of-the-line mode for the S10 series. But that will soon change when the company begins rolling out its S10 5G this spring. The phone, which will sport many of the same underpinnings as the S10 Plus, will be among the first 5G mobile devices to hit the market this year, and will give consumers a front row seat to understand the hubbub surrounding the technology. Like the first generation of 4G smartphones that hit the market years ago, however, the 5G experience will be spotty at best. Many cities won't be covered with the new high-speed, low-latency, high-bandwidth cellular technology, which means 5G devices will end up falling back on 4G LTE connections. I've seen 5G connectivity in action, but only in testing environments, so I can't say how well it works while, say, riding a bus or sitting at a coffee shop. But if it performs as expected, you'll see internet speeds far faster than anything available with 4G LTE. As for the S10 5G, Samsung wants to make the smartphone a true standout among the initial crop of 5G-enabled devices. To that end, the S10 5G will come equipped with a ridiculously large display. That screen, like Samsung's other S10 phones, will feature the company's new dynamic AMOLED technology, which promises brighter colors compared to Samsung's previous AMOLED screens. That's a bold statement considering Samsung's handsets already offered some of the best displays on the market. The S105 G will also use Samsung's Infinity-O panel, which includes a small in-screen cutout for the phone's dual front-facing cameras. Samsung hasn't announced pricing for the S105 G yet, but we'll update you when we find out more. More from Dan, email Daniel Howley at Dowley at, follow him on Twitter at at Daniel Howley. Follow News Pulse Finance on Facebook, Twitter, INSTagram, and